What's up, man and all stars, and welcome to another episode to the Road to the Top 100. And uh, right now, as you can see, my last video rank uh, 286. And uh, you know, I've been doing pretty good with the, uh, with the Kansas City Chiefs. And right here, we're gonna get a real challenge. You know, my opponent is actually using the the Seattle Seahawks. And right here, we get a nice catch by Kelsey, and we take it all the way to the house. Look at this. We get a nice touchdown right there. So, like I said, guys, you know, he's playing with the Seattle Seahawks, and a lot of people are using them because they have a good defense. And, uh, you know, actually the Seattle Seahawks lost last Sunday, man. I was surprised that the Chargers beat them. And I think they found they found finally the weakness of the Seattle Seahawks is trying to cover that tight end, man. Nobody could cover Antonio Gates. I think he had three touchdowns. And I was surprised that those linebackers couldn't kept up. And I think uh, they should have just moved a little uh, another corner right there. I think they have uh, Jeremy Lane. He's actually a 6'2", 6'3". And he's pretty fast, too. I, I don't know why they didn't cover with a corner. They should have played, a, I think, a nickel, but that's my opinion, guys. Let me know what the hell happened there. So, right there, he gets a nice catch. You know, he gets down to a one-yard line. And, you know, he tries to sneak it in, and he gets the touchdown. So, right now, we're seven up, guys. Like I said, it's actually a good challenge right there. Try to cut to the inside, but Earl Thomas does a nice job getting a tackle. And this guy, he can't stop my run. Look at this play right there. We're going to get a nice cut to the inside. Like I said, Jamal Charles is just a beast, man. He's too fast, and right here, we just see... Dwayne Bow, you know, that's a nice catch right there. It gets me nice yards. Third and seven, guys. Right here, just throw it to Bow right there. We, oh, we almost got the catch. But i go ahead and go for it right here. So I don't have no problems going for it. And right there, just um, Jenkins just dropped the ball. And he gets the ball back. So we got a lot of time, guys. There's no pressure. You know, we got five minutes in the game. So we still going to go ahead and uh, get it. So right there, I uh, managed to break it down. It's fourth down. So he's gonna go ahead and go for it again and right here Eric Berry does a nice job and uh, tip that ball so we get the ball back and oh my god man I can't believe Errol Thomas just knocked Jamal Charles out so we get another first down right here go ahead uh, go to the left side and uh, we're seven up guys I'm trying to waste as much time as I can so as I can so he doesn't get uh, you know enough time to score and right here I see Kelsey right again wide open but I don't manage to get the first down still got enough time for nine seconds to go so right there we get the first down so we get more uh, downs to go and right here we we'll head to the left side and uh, we almost get it guys it's 18 seconds to go and right there I see uh, Anthony Thomas wide open and we get a touch just before the half so right here he gets the ball back we get a nice sack and that's pretty much it for the head he's gonna head throw a prayer and he finds nobody so we get a nice sack again so anyways guys you know I'm pretty surprised you know about the teams that are undefeated right now uh, right now the Bills are undefeated Cardinals are undefeated the Texans are undefeated and the Broncos as well they're undefeated so who do you think is the most surprising team that's undefeated right now and right now the bills are actually you know they're pretty great you know i can't believe they're undefeated uh, ej man has been doing a pretty good job down there also uh you know robert woods you know uh sammy Watkins actually had a finally a good game because i had him in my family and my fantasy league and i actually had to bench him because you know he hasn't doing great he hasn't did, he didn't do nothing the last game but uh you know and actually this this game you know he decided to play good i think he had 127 uh, yards for a touchdown man, I, I just couldn't believe it man so anyways that's fine you know I, I also have another good receivers and i think i started mike evans instead of sammy Watkins. and uh mike evans uh actually got hurt so <laughs> that's pretty bad luck for me also you know who else is undefeated the uh, carolina panthers you know, the week one, the one uh, with a backup, you know, Derek Anderson. He's actually a pretty good uh, quarterback. And then, actually, Cam Newton came back, and he had a good game as well. So, you know, these two teams are pretty legit because last year they were actually the Panthers last year were pretty good. But the year before, the Panthers sucked, man. They, they, didn't have, they didn't have good receivers. They didn't have a defense. And then, finally, you know, Ron, uh, Ron Rivera, you know, decided to... Uh, build this team to the defense that he wanted and you know they decided to uh, come up and become one of the best teams in the NFC and also you know uh, another team uh, a surprise you know the Arizona Cardinals are undefeated you know without um, Tyron Matthew uh, who else they're starting safety as well a strong safety but they still got Peterson they still got and they have Kamari man I think those two guys are pretty legit as well they're good players and uh, you know uh, hopefully they still go, uh, keep the streak going and actually, they're first in the division right now, so that's pretty crazy. Anyways, uh, who else is there? Uh, the Broncos, for sure, they're going to be undefeated. And also, surprising teams that are 0-2. We've got the Saints. They're 0-2, guys. What the hell is going on down there with the Saints? I think, in my opinion, they should fire Rob Ryan because, that, like I said before, man, he's not a good uh, defensive coordinator like his brother Rex Ryan. 
and uh, you know maybe he should ask some for some pointers to his brother man I know he has a lot of pride you know but maybe he should uh, ask some some uh, you know tips with, from Rex Ryan so anyways right here we're 31 14 and you know he's been having trouble you know moving the ball as you can see right here I'm just waiting time 47 seconds to go and eight seconds you know try to score right here at the end of the game but you know my Kelsey drops the ball so we can go ahead and kick the field goal and that's pretty much it guys you know thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video go ahead and subscribe to this channel madden all stars from now on it's not gaming nation no more and uh, also you know if any any questions you have to go ahead and leave it in the comment section below until later guys it's your boy dark Raven.